day grade tens. In this lesson we're going to look at some calculations in motion in one dimension. So first thing we're going to be looking at is calculating our distance and displacement. And it says here that John walks five kilometers east, stops to rest for a while and then walks a further seven kilometers east. He realizes that he dropped his water bottle and retraces his steps for two kilometers and finds it. The first question they ask is, what is the distance he traveled? And the next thing they ask is, what is his displacement? Right, so let's start at the beginning. It says, let's look at his distance. Do you agree that he walked, and we're going to draw this in, um, he walked five kilometers east, okay. He then walked another seven kilometers east. And then he realized that he dropped his water bottle and he retraced his steps, which means that he went what? He went two kilometers west. Now distance is a scalar, which means we don't care about the direction. We only care about the magnitude of the stuff. And the magnitude is the amount. So we've got five plus seven plus two, which is going to be 14 kilometers. So the total distance that John walks is 14 kilometers. Does everybody see that? It's 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 plus 7 is 14. So that is his distance that he's traveled. Now let's look at his displacement. The displacement is a vector. So with a vector we actually need to worry about the direction. So let's have a little drawing of the vectors. So we've got five kilometers east, which we'll draw like this. Okay. Now we've got another seven kilometers east. Now it's in the same direction, but it's slightly longer. So therefore we're going to be all the way along. That's seven kilometers. And then he goes back two kilometers west. So do you agree that his total east is 5 plus 7, which is 12 kilometers east? But then he went back 2 kilometers. So his total displacement, which is actually from here to here, his displacement is 10 kilometers east. Remember, it is a vector, so we have to give it direction. Right, so now we've worked out his distance and his displacement. The total distance he traveled was 14 kilometers. The displacement is 10 kilometers east. Let's look at average speed and average velocity. Average speed is calculated by taking the total distance traveled and dividing it by the total time. And because you're dividing a scalar with a scalar, distance divided by time, you end up with a scalar. Right, whereas average velocity is the total displacement traveled by, d divided by the time and therefore it is a vector. So let's look at this example again. Now we're telling you that he travels, walks the same thing but we give it the time. He says he walked a total time of three hours. So they ask what is his average speed and what is his average velocity. And we're going to again break it down and first to his average speed. Right, so his speed his average speed is what? It is his distance divided by the time. And we're going to keep this in kilometers per hour just to make it easy because we're just really trying to show the difference between distance and displacement. So in this case, he traveled how much? We said he traveled 14 kilometers. Remember the direction doesn't matter. Over three hours. And if we pop that in our calculator, we go 14 divided by 3, and we end up with 4.67 kilometers per hour. So it's 4.67 kilometers per hour. That's how fast his speed was, his average speed. Now let's look at his, that's just telling you the steps. Right, now let's look at his displacement. We want his average velocity. First of all, what was his displacement? His displacement was 
10 kilometers east. <clears throat> the time is still three hours. So displacement divided by time gives us our velocity, our average velocity. So in this case we're going to go 10 divided by 3 and that is going to be, just let me check, 3.33, 3.33 kilometers per hour and again because it's a vector we have to give it a direction. Right, so see, do you see the difference between this? This was 4.67 kilometers per hour because it just took, it took its total distance into consideration. This is 3.33 kilometers per hour east because his displacement was less because he turned back. Okay, so now you know the difference between calculating distance and displacement and speed and velocity. I hope grade tens that that helps you. Please practice these questions and then try the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day. Thank you.